We have Buari. My administration has lifted 10.5 million people out of poverty. Is he in Nigeria? Please, 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 please. Hi, Tim Crown. How on a day waiting they happen, waiting they sup. Welcome back to our channel. A lot happened during the weekend. We're gonna cover that and I'm gonna transition from that to like the new reports. They're really not new reports like at the time of making this video, like most recent report. The most recent one is about iPop, Asavi Dokubo talking about iPop, you're talking about Unam Dekanu. Yeah, that's most uh, recent one and interesting. He accuses Unam Dekanu of being a criminal, said Unam Dekanu is a criminal and he's been diverting funds meant for the Biafran people, diverting it into his own person, personal account. Well, guys, not much. I'm not gonna say much about this, but let's watch this video. Fellow Biafrans, you can hear the voices of criminals talking about countries. We asked of people who contributed money to them. They are now telling us India, Russia, this. This is what is audited account. This is what Biafra will be under the criminal Enam de Kano. The criminal called Enam de Kano. Uh, they claim that they brought, they sent money through uh, Omiomio. Now they brought money to Kotonu to give to me 20 million naira. We're waiting for them to bring the evidence. They came to Kotonu to meet with me. I hosted them, I fed them, I accommodated them. They did not bring a dime. There are other people from other parts of the Niger Delta, not just the job people, as the picture shows. They ate my food, slept in my accommodation I paid for, and left. They did not bring one cobble. I had paid several medical bills for IPOB members in different places that have been injured. I had risked my life, sent lawyers to detention centers to try to bring them. There are living witnesses who can testify to this. But in the kind of thing that because he's a thief, because stealing is so widespread, 419, drug pushing, woman past trafficking. It's so widespread in Igbo land. Igbos allow themselves to be conned. They rush for wealth. They don't care about anything. This is the truth. And this has been the fear of several people. You want to form a country with Igbos? Ah, it will be a criminal country. People say it. And when you talk, people say, don't generalize. Where are you when Inam De Kanu and others speak for you? When these characters speak for you? When others want to talk, they come up, they abuse borough, they abuse clerk, they abuse everybody, they abuse everybody in other places. And you are not courageous enough to confront them. When others want to talk, you say, no, 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 these people do not represent evil. If they don't represent evils, then tell us who represent Ibo. Then speak up against them. First and foremost, I want to ask Nam De Kano, did I contact you? Did I look for you? It was you who looked for me. The first person you sent to me was Taniva Ode. He came to me. He asked me that there was a need for us to collaborate. There was a need for us to come together. I don't know who else he went to in Nigeria, but he came to me. He met me at the government house by Elsa, and we have been communicating. And since this issue started, he has been so sad with the turn of events. One little fellow in the prison, it was you who was talking to him, calling him, 
to call me, give your number. To, how many months did it take me to talk to you? Some of my followers who came to me, they want to join IPOB. I said, you are free to join IPOB. General Playboy was the person who contacted me, who, who linked me up with Omyomyo, with uh, Nefo and other people. You are the ones doing the calling. I've never picked my phone to call you before. Because it is you who know when you are free in the prison to call. Here we have Tokwe Alabi. Tokwe Alabi criticized a fellow gospel artist. But for me, you know, I think she just got it wrong. And the whole thing trend. Now, there's some people who don't really understand what happened, right? So the line that she used, Tokwe Alabi wasn't cool with that. It literally means a, a guarantor, more like it you know a guarantor so that lady meant that god is a guarantor in that lyrics that that's what it means and god is my guarantor you know a guarantor comes in when you go to the bank to borrow money and you so talk about Abi was seeing it from that perspective not seeing it from a different one that you know like being there for someone being there you know it's different from you using like the bank situation or using people borrowing money from a financial institution more like it and looking for your parents or family members to be there to stand in for you and say okay i trust that this person returned this money so i think Tokwe Alabi mixed it up and that's what that caused a big issue on social media <laughs> This is not Kinshakabaya, I jebe to ba jebo se n gbe wa le yan se n so ni oni kaluko kan mo so so ku so ni oni duro ko mi di pe oni duro ma ba e san wo to duro e to duro fun embi to tin sise o wa o sise embi kan o wa 300000 wa so nu won wa lo po ni duro e se won o pa ti o ba rowo yen san won ni pa ti o ba rowo yen san so the Yoruba celebrities were totally against, um, you know, Tokwe Alabi. And I think this actor came out to say, you guys are hypocrites because Tokwe Alabi was a big part of the Yoruba movie industry. What I mean that she helped them with the mu movies, uh, with, the, with the songs, the music part of, for a long time. Okay, so she's a big major part of it. So this actor was totally against the fact that he was like, okay, what Tokwe Alabi did was wrong. But you Yoruba celebrities, you guys have to choose your hustle <laughs> you guys have to stop the hypocrisy you know uh we understand that what he said or what she did was wrong but you still need to be behind her i think that's what this actor sean jimo is trying to say so um guys let us watch this um video of this guy reacting to that hey good morning everybody what's going on um uh, hey god this, this morning i just want to talk to your best celebrities you see you people, eh? You're yeah, the reason people talk down on you. And a lot of times it's so annoying. And this is not, if you know you're not in this category, please ask yourself. But if you know you're there, please take your L. This talk by Labi is you. I hope you won't send some of you to L. Talk by Labi has been a friend of the industry for years, and I know that all of you people fuck with her. You understand? What she did to the normal eye is wrong. What she did is wrong. Normally, like, I think. I think what she did was wrong, right? Talking down on somebody else's music. That being said, let the world talk about it. Let the world say whatever they want to say. But do like, you're about celebrities for real? Now you're taking sides and posting that lady's video and songs? How cruel can you be? Where were you before this woman? Did you ever post her? Now you, you think the best. Did you ever post her? Now you, you think the best thing is to take sides. All of you used to fuck with Tokwe Alabi. Now none of you can call and talk to her. None of you can just say, oh, okay, well, we condemn what she did. But, you know, no, none of you can still. You, 
You people are not even, you don't even have the right to take sides with anybody. If you can't get involved in things, get involved in things and try to make it better, don't make it worse. Talk about they have served this, served us good music, spiritual songs for years. She has made a mistake. People make mistakes, sure. Nobody's taking that away. She's, what she said, I think, was wrong. But then you, I'm seeing all of you posting that lady, I'm shading to Kuala. Be for real? Your boss celebrity is for real? Come on, you guys don't have everything, no boy, man, so long. I swear to God. I swear to God. For real? Did you ever post this other lady before? Everybody loves Oni Dromia show now. It's a beautiful song. It's the right to tell me how to, how to take a song. It's between me and God and the person who sang it. But for real, you're about celebrities. You people too, taking sides and talking. You can, you can, you can say, okay, you can condemn the act, but not condemn the person. You can't, you don't have to condemn the person. Everybody is condemning the act. Even if the world is condemning the person, you're about celebrities. You people that used to fuck with, with Tokwe Labi on a ba daily basis. Ah, God, I fear you people low. Hey, hey, God will judge everybody, Sha. Okay, here we have a whiskey, as we were saying. I so much dislike the majority of these so-called Yoruba celeb uh, book celebrities. Their high service is damn too much. Even some fools I followed here are ranting on blogs, comment, comment sections about Tokwe Alabi. Listen to me, I'm not a Christian yet, so it's none of my business. But a lot of these year celebrities in Just Lover Voice are trash. If they born you welcome for me, it's on the... Why didn't you stand for the other lady before this Tokwe Ala before this Tokwe Alabi saga? I have is done, finish them. Well, they're basically saying the same thing. And here is the song, and the lady who sang it. What's in my soul? But when you look to lonely, what is that love? I hear a yo. But when you look to lonely, what's in my soul? Thank you for the. Eh, you can't lose your love. Oh, but we can't get rid of that emotion we have. Now I'm not just here. Eta kuwa. And it don't matter, she saw. Although I can't go to the I don't want to go to the I don't want to go to the city. I don't want Trending in United States, Tokwe Alabi. Trending in United States. You know Nigerians are using VPN, and a lot of them are in United States. Not physically. You understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know. Now, apart from that, um, we're just gonna cover what happened over the weekend because I'm sure some people are expecting me to just talk about it. Here we have a 25-year-old Nigerian woman strangled to death by a Ghanaian ex-boyfriend in Italy. And again, we're just gonna be. Um, reading the headlines for some of it okay not all of it look at this this couple right this is Liz and Jerry. I think this is Liz and Jerry and the husband right look at this person posted this picture and said meanwhile over here they are they are dedicating one child on 10 different days even Jesus that was our Savior I don't think they did dedication for him God is great I will <laughs> So it's just funny. Florida dedication parties, um, New York, Dallas. You, you could see the dates here. I mean, these people have so much time. And what what's the meaning of all this? It's not a tour. No child dedication. Well, guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. They are touring all over America just because of uh, you know child dedication yeah it's a good thing to have a child but isn't this too much but talking about what happened over the weekend here we have um peter doce talking about females here he said um it is in females character to be greedy and selfish and he explained let's watch quote me quote me it's in the character of women that have this ineradicable flaw that is uncompromising about them that makes them very greedy and very selfish if you have In the university, you will have four young men. 
stay in a room for the four or five years they stay in the university. Did you hear me? Four or five men will stay in a room for the five years they stay in a university and they graduate. Put two girls in that same room. Give them one week. Policemen will come to that place. It is not Peter Duchess doing. It is there in the composition of women. It's, 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 it's unfortunate. It's regrettable. It is true. You will see two brothers getting along like brothers. The moment you introduce a woman into that soul, those two brothers can even kill each other because the woman has gone. It is not always that women represent very bad influence, no. But it depends on how you were indoctrinated. That's what matters. This is surprising. This next one right here. This lady sold a kit for 300,000 Naira. This is poverty. It's crazy, isn't it? Like the husband, and now in our defense, like she said, the husband left for two years without nothing. You know, I know some of you will be like, oh, wow, she's too wicked and stuff like that. But hey, take note. The husband left her with the kids, nothing. Okay, there was nothing. Life was so difficult for this lady. And she, it's not like I am justifying what she did. You know, I'm, not, I'm just reporting, okay? So, so calm down if you're thinking that I'm, no, I'm just reporting. So, it was difficult. She said it was difficult for her, you know, to cater for the kids. And somebody walked at that time that she was going through that thought. Somebody walked up to her and be like, "Hey, look, I have somebody in Port Harcourt who wants to, you know, who needs kids. If you're willing to sell your children, you'll be three hundred thousand naira rich. And three hundred thousand is big to these people. Or we're talking about poverty here. And she she did that. And so this guy came after two years, expecting to still see the children. And you know, she couldn't. He couldn't find them. The husband. I was like, "Where are the children?" And she's like. You left for two years. What do you expect me to do? So this guy went to the police station and reported. Of course, they caught that guy that introduced that lady to the people in Port Harcourt, that the couples who want kids in Port Harcourt. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, another thing that happened, okay, Odumeji conducts strange deliverance on Reverend Sister in Anambra State. That is the report. A sister lying down and a Dumeje lying on top of her. That's, you know, his own way of delivering people from demonic spirits. Let's watch this video, guys. Because the major one will go to the root of every problem and they begin to work on it or work from then. What the general working in the body of the reverend sister to save her for Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus, whom we are talking about, is one in him we are complete. Christ is the head of the church and all of us is the body of church. Hey guys, that is it still over the weekend. Um, we have a Bob Whiskey. Bob Whiskey said that he wants his life back because of the lipo. I want my life back. My stomach is so hot. I think she did a, a backside then, a butt. So maybe she's still going through that pain. So she said, um, um, or he said, my back is gone. I can't hold the um, aim or the pain no more. That's what he's trying to say well that is it about Bobiski here we have princess shingo saying there is no such thing as a man and a woman being bestie so he, she's basically saying she cheated she cheated on her past boyfriends like with this guy you know she said they've known for 10 years and um they she pretends to be friends or besties while they sleep you know they have sex both of them are in a serious relationship but they still have sex right and uh, finally you know they got together that was the man she married and didn't work out you know they're divorced now i think yeah didn't work out anyways he says here yeah, it does not um, exist especially in africa it's um either they are sleeping together or one is crushing on the other unless the guy is 100 gay and the first man i ever got married to was my bestie for over 10 years and throughout that 10 years every time i see him we f and he had a girl and i had a man and but that didn't stop us <laughs> funny isn't it moving on to the next news here we have them really fans or friends giving him a lexus suv i saw someone they were like oh we would give them a really car like, you guys would gift yourself a car and they really is a good guy true like i know a couple of people that have met this guy they said it's down to f they really is a lot of people love them really so if you know you fake this whole gift 
you know, maybe he might fake it, but he's a good guy. A lot of people love him. Okay, so I wouldn't even doubt if they say friends got him SUV because he's he's done. He's helped a lot of people without with, without expecting something in return or expecting nothing in return. More like that. Yeah. Moving on. Here we have she 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 vibe into Tiwa Savage Koroba days after their fight. Of course, you what she's trying to say, she's trying to act like she's the bigger person. I think that's what she's trying to do here. <laughs> Dancing to the song, but who knows our plan? <laughs> Anyways, guys, Tiwa Savage got a lot of support after that fight. So I think she, she just want you all to know that, you know, I'm still good. Nothing, no problem. But let's go back to Dan Riley. I just want to give it a break. Dan Riley dating a man. He, he said that the biggest mistake he made was dating a guy. Okay. And that was one of the biggest mistakes of his life. Doing an interview with Trudy. Um, guys, I just want to say first before we watch the video, I just want to say, man, you can imagine, man, that means they really, you know, is bisexual, technically bisexual, you know. Um, so the rumors are true, and I like the fact that he's coming out, holding up to it with full confidence, with his full chest. He's 40 years old now, he just celebrated his 40th, 40th birthday, so he feel like he's matured enough to talk about his sexuality and i like how it make it so regular like you know just say it out like that but he said he's not gonna try it again but hey that's it i see i saw some people being like oh go and see no more go and like did he tell you that his mindset about that has changed his mindset might not might not have changed but it's just a bisexual that doesn't mean that he's um, now a, going to church more or doing something just just want you guys to understand that you know that's it so the fact that he could do that even though it was toxic at that time i felt like they really would still have this crush on some guys as long as that's his personality that's what i think guys let's watch this video for me what's my definition of happiness mm -hmm. inner happiness was a struggle to find and i kept looking for it in people mm -hmm. because i said to myself yes i have so much love to give mm -hmm. so why are the people not giving me the happiness mm -hmm. so with all the people that i've dated you know i remembered well they're all married now one even just got married last month right and it's a constant reminder and i remember one of my family members calling my dad from nowhere saying okay mm -hmm. so david is going to be 40 he's not going to get married mm -hmm. and i told my dad tell that woman to call me herself mm -hmm. let me address the issue mm -hmm. because she has no say in my talent but i found it first you know mm -hmm. I fell in love, fell out of love, was heartbroken severally. Now, I have not been in too many relationships, which is why I'm always very skeptical about mm -hmm. getting into them. Mm -hmm. So one day I said to myself, okay, so yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe the girls mm -hmm. do not have anything to offer me. Mm -hmm. And then I, quite, I had quite a bit of male attention. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just give somebody a chance. That was right. the worst decision of my life. Right. And from then on, I've said, right now, I am my own sugar daddy. Right. I have a strong masculine side designed to take care of my feminine side right. so i don't need anybody so right yourself yes please thank you because the person and i decided to experiment with i said okay so let me just even give this a shot right that should have that was the most draining thing i've ever done in my life right. and i've said i am never mm. going to be caught in that sort of situation i met the most disrespectful most disregarding wawu <laughs> like thinking about it right now right the, this temper yeah i've not seen i tried to quell it i said okay so god maybe you sent this man into my life because you wanted me to change this person maybe you wanted me to you know fix it yeah do you know how the real do you know how i got my reality check back yeah i remember one particular time where somewhere this person comes with just talking a lot of crap and there was a mirror beside me and i looked into the mirror and i said Mm -hmm. I looked at myself from head to toe. I was in some red bottom heels. Ah, ah! I was dressed to kill. And I looked and I looked at the human being in front of me. And that was when I knew. Mm -hmm. And everybody kept warning me, like, you know, you have to let this, this person's energy is toxic. The toxicity, it's even draining you. Mm -hmm. There was nothing I could do that could ever please this person. And mm -hmm. that's surprising because I'm usually the pleasing kind. So I went even overboard. Hey guys, that is it here. We have Destiny Etiko saying, I'm very different from my movie Rose. She's looking for husband though. So if you see anybody, 
or if you you know you're interested in her not her backside you're interested in her a personality outside the movie industry reach out to her maybe the person will be saying we'll reach out to her because of her backside she stated this during her instagram live session okay guys moving on to the next one another news that stumbled on very funny man impregnates his mother-in-law who came to help his wife take care of a newborn can you imagine this happened in ghana moving on uh uh, to the next one pretty mike attended twin lawani's wedding with six women and babies six women and babies pretty mike this guy who gives him these ideas i don't know guys let's watch Okay, guys, another thing that happened, Fulani bandits apprehended at a place called the Roadblock in Akure. Upon searching them thoroughly, sophisticated weapons was found in their possession. They were about entering Akure when the protesters on the protest ground stopped the bus conveying them. <laughs> Remember that Igbo went there recently, and now we're seeing they call them Fulani bandits caught after that. What are you thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Like these people are ready to fight. Igbo started from a Barakpa. Now they went to Barakpa. When Igbo went to Ekiti State, they went to Bar Barakpa to kill everyone. I showed you guys the video last week. They took to kill a lot. They killed 50 people, I think. They, they killed a lot of people. They destroyed our houses. They burnt cars. So now, after now, I think it's left Ekiti, and Ekiti is not far from Ekiti. You do are like very close. And now, this full and bandit bandit were caught during that time again. So they, they just want to kill every supporter of um, Odudua Nation and anybody that is, you know, against them. Moving on to the next news of June 12th, there was a serious protest. The shocking thing is in Abuja, there were Buhari supporters who showed up and they wore the clothes that says, are you with Buhari? But things didn't go uh, as planned because for them, okay because someone came out to say she was paid how much is it how much for one thousand naira that's what bring us come here for one thousand naira you support you you support you baba buari have you collected your one thousand have you collected your one i will never collect one thousand you only think how Oga, Oga, come here. I come here for one thousand. Please stand there. We are celebrating the democracy. You know, uh, we, they say that the best, the worst of uh, the best of military is, uh, is, is, is the best of military. Is, uh, what do they, how do they say the best of military? The worst of military is better than the democracy or something like that. He, Mr. President, made it to be. And here we have the protesters, you know, lamenting, and they are not happy about everything that happened. I mean, myself, I'm not happy about what I, what has been going on in Nigeria. Um, the one that sticked out out of the the whole protest are the ones I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, the ones that trend that has a lot of comments and, and stuff. Let's watch these videos, guys. Buari, Buari, we are tired of you. Tired of you. We thank you for trying to help us. Thank you very much. That you let your salary. Yes, yes. Minute. 
country, police everywhere. Because we want to protest, we can't be scared. If they shut up protesters like they shut up the National Assembly members, then Nigeria is finished. We can't be scared of our president in our own countries. We are not refugees, we are citizens. I pray my no commands. We rather die than keep shut. I rather be a rebel than a slave. Yes. Yeah, Nigeria. The thing when I want to talk, we say, I want to make our mama and our papa, where they finish, may they understand what they will do for Lagos. May they know the cry, where will they cry? Say, we don't want the way this government, they rule us. Electricity high, where we No at all. Water, pure water. We know they feel buy again. We don't have to stop the well again. What did we try to talk? We say, today, now we do 12, where they talk, say that democracy day. Yes, so. And we get freedom to go express our feeling, go yes. talk our mind. Ah, okay. Right, so we can talk our short mind. Today, to, to the government Sorry. of Buhari regime. It's a shame because this is this country. I always say that we have every means, we have everything at our disposal to be, to be, to be one of the top countries in the world. But we are here today because of corruption. We are here today because of the nepotism. Look at the, the level of insecurity that we have been dealing with since since uh, the time this administration came in till now. You know when and when Nigerians speak. They are not speaking, the government is quick to always think that Nigerians are fighting them, like it's a war, and they always take it to be as if we're at war. We don't have their guns. We do not have their guns. All we have is our voice. It's our voice. We have our voices, and they want to take that away from us. So the government, the, the, this current administration that we are in now, do not even want any form of criticism. They do not want people to speak. It, that's, it, there's nothing more to it than dictatorship. One of the things you mentioned. They are wow. shooting guns. Okay, Ben, I we not really just tear guns now. They are actually really shooting. Yeah, we cannot careful. we cannot tell if these are rubber bullets or these are live rounds. But you can see the police now trying to apprehend some protesters. Yeah, and that's it. One protester has been apprehended right there. He's been taken away. Our camera has been blocked, and we've been told to stop recording these shots. We have to move out of sight now. Please move. Uh, but we are still recording. Thomas, keep rolling. To a safe, uh, keep rolling. All right, more vehicles are coming. Step out of the way. All right, we're asking you to keep rolling, but please Situation do it safely. What if you walk back? Ah, Nidru will survive. Sorry, man. Sorry. What if you walk back? What if you walk back? What if you walk back? Oh, yeah. And here we have Fire Me saying, <laughs> the governor of Ikiti State saying that Nigeria has not reached the promised land, but we've left Egypt. Left Egypt? No, it doesn't seem like it. It's like we are leaving Egypt before the emergence of this administration. That's what I, we were on our way leaving Egypt before this one came. Okay, guys, here we have Buari. My administration has lifted 10.5 million people out of poverty. Is he in Nigeria? Please, 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 please. Guys, even though, you know, we talk about this presidency, how bad things have become, it still says that he is the best president ever. That's number one. Number two, he has taken pride in that area of fighting corruption. Oh, I thought it's my time that we arrested a lot of corrupt politicians. It's my time. But what did they do with the money? They loot and reloot. Reloot, loot, loot, reloot. Just like that. I just want us to watch these videos, okay, of stolen funds.
that were recovered and i'm here thinking what did they do with the money that was recovered let's just watch these videos what you're seeing are real life pictures the said house where the efcc discovered huge funds amounting to 9.8 million dollars allegedly belonging to the former group managing director of the nnpc mr andrea kubu this is number nine chikun street a detached semi one-bedroom apartment in sabuntasha nothing about this environment and the apartment gives away such information about the amount of money stored here an eyewitness, Joseph Abba, who runs a tailoring business in the neighborhood, attempts to describe the scenario that played out the day the EFCC operatives came calling. They heard that uh, they were asking of the man, that uh, where is the man's house, uh, that uh, they want to see him. The man was not present, it was his brother. Uh, it was his brother that was present. So the, uh, his brother is not at home, he traveled. They were contemplating, thinking of argument. Then they asked the man to show them the room where his brother kept money. He, he said that he don't know everything, you know, nothing that he knows. See, before either one of them knows something about it, before they directed them to decide, before they, they asked the man to give them key, say he don't have key, before they forced the door open. The compound is a ghost place now, for obvious reasons. But the residents of the area say they can't reconcile the huge sums with the location. That kind of money is good to help the poor. And you don't use it to help people. Just keep it, put AC in the money, the money is just cooling down. At least you're supposed to use that money to even gravel this our road. If you cannot do any other thing, he has to use the money to gravel this our road. Or he can give us uh, all the as we are suffering from uh, water now. He's supposed to I will, I will urge the authorities to do proper investigation uh, of how the, the money came about. Because everybody knows the, the kind of economy in which we are and the, the suffering in the land. The man in the eye of the storm, Mr. Andrew Yakubu, an engineer who worked with the NNPC for over 30 years, is reported to have admitted ownership of the money. However, in the days ahead, the EFCC should be presenting in details reports of the investigation into the monies found in the two fireproof safes. This reminds me of smarter DME crying out again. Time for addition. We must look for foreign support to save this nation. This is my position, Mr. President. We must rest on it. We are killing people in the east, in the west, in the south, in the north. We should shut down the National Assembly. Let's shut down. If we cannot save this country, we stay in our homes. Our country is bleeding. People are in poverty. There's no food. People are hungry. Insecurity is threatening us. We cannot pretend. It's better we're not here. That's what I see that your people are dying. Okay, guys, that is it. That's where I'm going to hold this. This is a lot to talk about, so I have to rush through it. Tomorrow will be like the regular news day. I just want to cover the majority of what happened, um, you know, during the weekend so yeah we're done with that let us move straight to to this question tomorrow we'll start afresh i just want to keep you guys in the loop for those of you who don't have access to much information okay name one thing or name one thing yeah more valuable than money that's the question of the day so name one thing that's more valuable than money let me know that in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching don't forget yes. oh my god thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're yet to do so thank you thank you thank you to see you next time peace